Hello and good afternoon, welcome to the channel. Today's addiction I will be showing you the easy method on how to gain the newish recipes added back in 10.5, and a 10 way multi farm to go with it. And oh my god it is so worth doing, just look at these teasers. Located in the Gordok Commons within North Dyer Mall. There is an incredible and very profitable 10 way multi farm here which I will give a full breakdown on later, but it's not the main reason we are here. We are here to farm not Thimblejack's caches, which is a reward from a repeatable quest located within North Dyer Mall. Every ogre has a drop rate from 6% up to 47% chance to drop Gordok Shackle keys, which is the quest item needed. You can only carry one key at a time, and plenty can drop. The key in your bag is safe, any keys you cannot pick up will only last for 2 minutes before they despawn and are lost forever. But do not worry, I have a cunning solution to fix this so you do not waste any keys. We shall be using the mass pull method. Easy and simple to understand. Just pull everything in the dungeon without killing a single target up to the kill spot location, which is located right next to the quest giver needed to get the Thimble Jacks rewards. You cannot get lost in here as it's a one-way dungeon with just one door to unlock, no key needed. So just pull everything as shown. Main reason for the mass pull is to not lose any keys that may drop and you cannot carry. Pull everything to the kill spot will eliminate losses as you are right next to where you need to hand them in, so no need to worry too much about the 2 minute despawn timer. Pick up a key, hand it in, rinse and repeat. The most amount of keys I have had in one run is 7. Carry on with the rest of the dungeon as the last boss always drops a key. So mass pull again up to him, grab the key and run back to hand it in, looting and skinning before you go. I would rather let you watch the results, over me editing them to save time. This is what I got after just one hour using this method. Let's see how well I did. There are 6 recipes added to Dyer Mall in 10.5, there are 5 leatherworking and 1 tailoring recipes you can obtain from these caches. As well as a lot of rare vanilla reagents which you can sell for even more gold. All recipes sell period. The rarer the recipe the better of course. Some can take minutes to sell, others can take months, a lot of factors come into play when selling anything on the auction house from high pop to low pop servers right down to what type of server you play on, from RP which tend to have better overall sales to PvP servers that don't. You have to admit, that is some crazy gold profits once the recipes sell. And don't forget about the gold you will make from the multi farm, which I will briefly talk about next. Here are the final results on what I got. And here is what I will do to make gold. First I will just outright sell the recipes. Not sure why the chew toys are this price, but I will not moan if they sell. Send all cloth to a tailor and turn into bolts, then turn the bolts into headbands. Then send all headbands to a disenchanter and breakdown for greater eternal essences. Everything else you just want to sell for even more gold. Well that's the Thimble Jacks cash and 10 way multi farm, slightly longer than most my videos, only way to get all details needed. I really do hope you take full advantage of this farm, and quickly, before other players catch on. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Until then, stay safe.